PSA is a protein, a small chemical secreted by prostate, prostate gland. It is secreted in all men. Any man who has a prostate has a PSA. It is unfortunately uh, higher, the levels of PSA are higher in people who have higher risk of prostate cancer. So people with a PSA of five or six are slightly more high risk than people with PSA of four. It is reasonably accurate in detecting prostate cancer. It actually doesn't detect prostate cancer. It actually gives you a risk of prostate cancer. So as I said before, a person with a PSA of 10 has certainly more risk of harboring prostate cancer than a person with a PSA of four. That does not mean that the person with PSA of four cannot have prostate cancer. And it also doesn't mean that the PSA of 10 will definitely have prostate cancer. But the relative risk of people increases as the PSA levels increase. So if your PSA test is abnormal, it could be abnormal simply because you have had an inflammation of the prostate, you have had an infection of the prostate, you um, have had sexual activity within 24, 48 hours of taking the blood test, you have been on a cycle for a long time before you've taken the blood test, You've been horse riding before you take the blood test. So all these things can increase your PSA. So it's always ideal to have second test after the first test. After avoiding all these cycling, uh, horse riding, sexual activity, infection of the prostate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the, if the second test is also raised, then it's a reason to visit a urologist and basically talk about getting an MRI done and think about biopsies of your prostate, depending on how old you are, how uh, good is your quality of life, what is your life expectancy, and how, uh, how the doctor thinks of your PSA. In the current environment, there are actually no symptoms and signs of prostate cancer. Majority of my patients with uh, prostate cancer do present with elevated PSA and they are symptom free or they have mild warm, lower water work symptoms like going to the toilet more often and uh, getting a feeling of incomplete emptying of the bladder and waking up uh too many times in the night to pass urine these are the these are the uh, early symptoms but uh, majority of the people now in my practice are referred by the gp because the gp has checked their psa levels and found that the psa levels are high and they are then referred for urology advice